And I'm reading okay. something. All right, oh. Danny's reading. Okay. All right, you're, you ready? All right. Ready. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Rob Sestradino back again to talk with you about the week's most interesting news stories for the week of March 26, 2024, here on News AF. If the story is buzzing like it's on crystal meth, it's about to be News AF. If the same old news makes you bored to death, it's time for some News AF. Actual, factual news. All right, we are back here once again to talk here the last week of March here with a man who's uh, rested and back from his trip to Mexico. Tyson Apostle, mm -hmm. Tyson, how are you? Uh, rested is, I no. mean, strong. Yeah, That's a strong know. word, Rob. <laughs> but uh, not unrested, just, okay. you know, standard dad uh, travel. Mm -hmm. So, uh, feeling good. I got a sunburn so my kids could see how painful it was and to never get one themselves. <laughs> which, yep. Pretty cool we, dad thing to do. Hey, yeah. Let me see. Uh, you don't look too sunburned. No, my face is tan. I got my shoulders burned a little bit and they're peeling definitely on the shoulders. And that's uh, sad, sad probably for everybody. So, <laughs> yeah, you, you need that layer. Oh my God. I know. And it hurt. And it was so itchy once it started healing. And I was uh, just like, the worst is that if it peels, that's gross. It did peel. It did peel. Oh. It's peeling now. That's why I'm wearing long sleeves, dude. Yeah. But, uh, I, it gets super itchy before it peels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I played this game with my daughters where they would draw something on my back and I'd have to guess what it was. Oh, so smart. at the pool, at the resort, I'd just be like, draw something on my back or write a word and I'll try and guess it. Did that all day. They never, never caught on. Mm -hmm. Scratched your back. Smart. Way to trick yeah. your kids. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right. Here, uh, man, with so many colorful jackets uh, today. Mm -hmm. And all also, he, that I hope he takes a victory lap because I believe it was on last week's podcast that he said, look, I'm taking a stand for Kate Middleton. Oh, yeah. She's the only good yes. royal. Everybody else was like, oh, did she get a butt lift? What do you think's going on? Is she, <laughs> is, she, is she doing drugs? And Danny was right. Yeah. Leave that woman alone. Future yeah. queen. He's on the right side of history constantly. An yeah. international treasure, Kate Middleton. Mm -hmm. I have got a track record that is just to die for. Well, <laughs> you still defend Elon Musk at all costs. which I do. I will. I'm not, look, I'm not defending uh, him yeah. as a person. Okay. I'm defending his <laughs> ideas right. and the things that he drives forward. Mm -hmm. That's the big picture I'm stuff. The right. big picture stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. I was showing my kids, of course, uh, on our brand new YouTube channel, newsaf.news. You can Such make sure you subscribe. Channel. Yeah. Mm, I was showing my kids some of the YouTube shorts from this uh, last week and they were loving it. Really? They, yeah. They Which loved, one did they like the most? They loved hearing uh, Danny talk about uh, his uh, leprechaun traps. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't remind me. They, they love that. It's yeah. too fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they were that. Um, they were here. They were asking a bunch of them. They want to know, Dad, who's funnier, Danny or Tyson? I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, that's depends. Yeah, it's on the day and very different. Yeah. yeah, very different guys, different different styles. I fought a very different battle this morning. Yes. Oh. Just tried to get her to pick up a handful of things off the ground. Took 30 <sighs> minutes. She claimed it would take 6,000 years to do everything I was asking. It's just like, it never ends. That's why Tyson's vacation can never really be a vacation. You know, yeah. you can't really Danny, get rest. You're just fighting battles. You haven't learned the win. The, trick the victory to that battle is bring a garbage bag in and be like, <laughs> I'm starting to put this stuff in the garbage. I don't care about any of it. Yeah. Uh, you want it, get it put away. If not, I'm moving forward with this trash bag. Okay. So what I want you to do now is imagine the most annoying sound you can think of, amplify it by 10. And that's mm -hmm. what will be shrieking in your ear as you begin that process. Mm -hmm. Does it, then Just she you. will learn. She will <laughs> definitely learn. That's I would like to think that they can yeah. be reasoned with, but it honestly feels like I'm battling with a young T-1000 terminator mm -hmm. that's just yeah. have like one purpose and that purpose is to not do anything or is short on programming yeah. listen yeah exactly uh last night we get home kind of late not super late but like we're at home at like 8 or 8 30 p.m for the girls that's a long day and yeah. i 
their toothbrushes are packed. I'm not going to unpack everything to get them ready for bed. So I go and grab some new toothbrushes from the pantry. I already know it's going to be a battle. Yeah. I have a green toothbrush and a pink toothbrush. Oh no, not the same colors. <laughs> so <laughs> Bergen always gets her way. She fights to get her way. She will fight to get her way at all costs, no matter what eight year old. Uh, so I am like, Marlo needs her way sometimes and Bergen needs to learn wins. Yeah. that mm -hmm. her way isn't always, and Marlo will fold immediately. If Bergen's like, Mwah! then B Marlo's like, no, 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 Bergen, it's okay. And so I'm like, Marlo, you choose the toothbrush you want because Bergen chose the last one. So this is fair. Yeah. And uh, you stick to it. And she said, okay, I want the green one. I walk in. I okay. Hand Marlo, I had her hand Bergen the pink one. Full meltdown. Of course. She I, knew. I she didn't even see the toothbrushes. She already knew the catalog of new toothbrushes was a green and a pink. And she had already decided. I don't know if she decided she wanted the green or if she decided she was gonna flip out no matter what. And then they have these little sippy cups that you buy these juice sippy cups with the heads on the character yep, heads on them, yep, and they're yep. perfect for sending to bed because they uh stop flow. You know, you have to suck on them to activate them. It's they're perfect. So we reuse those. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to do great here. I've got a tails one from here. Sonic tails head. Mm -hmm. That's Bergen's Bergen chose it. She got it at the store. It's hers. I choose an Elsa one. They always are constantly fighting over the Elsa one. I go into Bergen. I'm like, okay, you get to choose which bottle you want. She chooses the tails one. I go into Marlo. I'm like, here's your Elsa bottle. And she goes, which one did Bergen get? And I oh, said, <laughs> yeah. I plead the fifth. I said tails. And she said, you know that I like Sonic more <laughs> than Elsa and I like Sonic more than Bergen. So Both scary. True. Both truths. And she has a meltdown. So we have two girls having a meltdown and Rachel and I are just like, laugh. like you can only laugh in these situations where not true, know. not true. <laughs> you can do more than laugh. Yeah. We laugh. We <laughs> like, okay. it's so I'm glad you get nice moment, Tyson. What? That's a nice moment. When it's so absurd, you just have to laugh. And then you're like, mm -hmm. okay, well, when you're done crying, we'll come in and sing you nighttime songs. And then you leave. Jeez. You and they put fall. like a little song and dance yeah. to put them to sleep. I sing um, a song or uh, wow. read a, to them a little bit or something. If they, yeah. You don't read to your kids at night. They read to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that too. We do that. We trade off depending on how late it is and stuff. Um, or I'll sing for just sing a song and then, but the, here's the other trick. I hope we'll come in and sing. Metal. I sing Led Zeppelin sometimes. Nice. Mm -hmm. We come in and sing when they uh, have calmed down, but they fall asleep before they calm down. Oh, and nice. no singing or reading necessary on these long nights. Yeah. Dang, yeah. dude. I want yeah. you to put me to sleep. Give me some well, more milk and a sippy. Mm -hmm. No, I just. Me. Read. I, it's for a I lot of these up. listeners. That's what this is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I rile you up, Danny, by giving okay. you the wrong tickles. water bottle. <laughs> you tickle you, me? Yeah. No, not by not with tickles. Not that kind of rile. <laughs> okay. I anger you. You're complete I'm rage. I'm quick to anger. Yeah, that's my thing. Complete kid, rage sure. because yeah. you got the wrong water bottle. So I say, I'll come in and check on you and sing your song once you've chilled. And then you fall asleep. Then I'm like, you're the worst dad. I wish you would yeah. fall into a pit of fire. They always uh, love me in the morning, though. It's insane. Like I, I think there's yeah. a hard, hard reset. It's a hard reset every single time they forget about. It's it's really like it's really a wonder. Like I'm like she was so mad that I gave yeah. her the Elsa bottle last night. So mad, unforgivable, probably. And then in the morning she's like, Dad, I love you. What are we doing? I was like, Oh man. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. I hope everybody has their warm sippy and ready to listen to this podcast because <laughs> we're about to put you we'll actually rile you up, then put you to sleep. Gonna rile you up with mm -hmm. all the news. Okay. All right. Uh, we've had a lot of fast food stories lately. Uh, so I have another one to open things up. Uh, Wendy's, uh, we talked about their surge pricing that was coming yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Um, but Wendy's is also now experimenting with drone orders that they are uh, experimenting with a program in 
Christianburg, Virginia, where if you are ordering on DoorDash, mm -hmm. you can get your Wendy's delivered by drone. Danny, you're a big drone guy. I've seen the delivery drones out and about locally. Not delivery, not delivering anything. I'm test just runs, assuming they're going testing? on test runs. Yes. Yeah. How far are you so, seeing them? Are you just seeing them zip around the skies? So I saw one, I was at my kid's soccer game and I could mm -hmm. see it off in the distance, just doing some kind of pre-programmed like run. And I saw it descend and I thought they must be testing this to make sure like not chopping off people's heads. And you're sure it's not a guy this. that was just. Flying yeah. I mean, it was, it was an industrial drone. So yeah, it could have been for something yeah. else, but it did look exactly like what I imagined a delivery drone to look like. Mm -hmm. Now, so I think they're testing. Tyson, I feel like that the idea of me getting delivery DoorDash uh, mm -hmm. by drone is compelling. But I feel like that the idea of thousands and thousands of drones filling the sky, Terrifying. carrying uh, takeout orders uh, yeah. seems like a, a nightmare dystopian <laughs> scenario. <laughs> it is. It definitely yes. is. It 100% is. And uh, this is where if you are on the outskirts of town, the very far outskirts like I am, your property values are going to soar because it's like, well, how many drones do you get crossing? And I was like, there's only 20 more houses up here. So yeah. like you're getting maybe a couple a day, but like you almost never notice it. And so I think that that's going to help out the uh, the property values of the already expensive places. Excellent so point, much. Tyson. People yeah. never wanted to live underneath or around the airport. Now it'd be like, where do you live in the drone cloud? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, well, what does Manhattan look like when eight million people are ordering a uh, delivery? Temperatures are dropping because they're so. It's like a, <laughs> it's just shade now. So now. <laughs> Arizona actually is becoming an oasis. It's getting too cold in Southern California. It's going to be too cold in LA completely all the time because the sun so is be just, just like, yeah. The, yeah, drones everywhere. There's drones everywhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's probably some good to this. Uh, I think it's you annoying. Have to, it's annoying. Drones are well, annoying. That many, dr just one drone is a very obnoxious sound, let alone all, hundreds. I know, but listen, all the government needs to do, and they won't because <laughs> they're buffoons, but <laughs> all they need to do is put taxes on this stuff and then get us out of all of the, like, it's just like, you want drone delivery? Okay, but there's a surcharge on that. That's a tax. That's airspace tax that goes back to the people because it's the people's airspace. And then that uh, starts digging us out of debt. Like, it mm -hmm. would be so easy to just, but they won't, yeah. they won't tax. Jeff Bezos, they won't tax DoorDash. They'll, uh, but they should. And that's what it should be for is yeah. like, you're hot in my air. Like, I don't want, don't you supposedly own your airspace above your house to a certain level or something like that? That's Danny, a good question. That, I, right? I don't know. That is a good question. I've always thought no, but it just seems like logically you should own some area around your house. Hmm. Yeah. Or else your neighbors could be building like a like a giant, giant plank, bridge over pirate plank. Yeah, <laughs> like that goes right against your wall so close that they can stare through your windows from the comfort of their plank. I think that they can't build within those planes of their yeah. Mm -hmm. So does out, that outside those planes? But yeah. that doesn't mean that can they can you not fly a drone through someone's backyard? Yeah, that's it's probably a good trespassing. So I think that we need to define those, and then you're like. Yeah, you can cross through, but yep. every time your drone crosses through, it's two dollars. So the like, surcharge on the Wendy's burger when it gets delivered by drone is like a thirty-five dollars for the worst tasting bacon burger you've ever had. Bacon eater, Danny. Yeah, because yeah. it went up into the atmosphere where it's <laughs> minus a serious cloud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but your frosty is going to stay cold. Your frosty will stay cold. So, do you think that the the uh, altitudes they're flying are based on how warm or cold the food needs to be. Yeah. Well, what if it's a super hot day? Is that frosty going to be like melting on me? And I'm thinking no, like, because oh, the frosty goes poop on me. Yeah. The frosty goes straight up into mm -hmm. the very nether regions of space to hard freeze. 
before plummeting to the ground at such a rapid rate that it keeps it frozen, even in 90 yeah. degree, a hundred degree weather. Whereas like, let's say a Baconator, Danny's like, I need a Baconator. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. 110 yeah. degrees outside. That's the bird situation on the, the, <laughs> like the, the seagull versus the drone with my Baconator. Uh, what do you like in that battle? The drone. But I have drone... had birds swoop at my drone, <laughs> but they don't have the guts to strike it. <laughs> to, uh, to they have gotten really close, propeller. but they know that something's going on with this flying device that they yeah. don't want to mess with. Mm. So, but Danny, like you're baking it or you order it. It's 110 degrees outside. The drone is literally half an inch from the asphalt the entire <laughs> way to your house to keep oh. it up on the hot surface. You get it. <laughs> it's so warm and delicious and it's crazy that that's what the drones have to do. That's view. pretty good. Yeah. Guys, I think we're pretty far away from this actually working. I, hmm. I know that we read about the drone delivery thing all the time, but there are yeah. so many problems that need to be overcome in order for this to become oh. a thing. See, I thought when you said you, that we're pretty far away from it, I thought you meant that we don't live near Christianburg, Virginia. No. Like, I'm not that far away. They, they, There's so many things they need to iron out. Like Tyson said, airspace. They need to figure out airspace. They need to figure out weather. They need to figure out... Uh, property lines. How do you deliver it in a place with tons of trees? I, hmm. It's just to me, it's not a simple, uh, simple like oh, put it in a drone, type in the address, oh, send it over yeah. there. New houses are going to have like a garbage chute straight out. Right, the top that of would make or sense. Like little helipad for a drone pad that just like <laughs> poops out your thing and then like falls straight into your yeah. mouth, and then you just become like the people on Wally the movie in the giant. Yeah. Uh, in the giant uh, cruise ship in outer yeah. space. Slides, slides down a duct into your feeding chute. Yeah. And but it has to make a sound. So yeah, it has of course. To make like, a... Yeah. Yeah. And then with your goggles down. on, you just lean forward and yeah. start like munching on your, it. Your uh, <laughs> VR goggles. Your trough. Yeah. It doesn't even, that's the thing is that now the appearance of food doesn't matter because you're wearing these goggles and it's just like. Yeah. Excellent point, Tyson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. you have anything. In and that then your cricket snake burger actually, <laughs> yeah, looks pretty like, good. It's looks pretty good. Like a baconator. <laughs> Crickena cricketator. Yeah. Um, so then, where do the drones live? The the drones are like they they They're at, at the nighttime Amazon they warehouse. go back to they go back to like the the DoorDash warehouse and then yeah. in the morning they're they're setting up. But yeah. like, is it just like a runway at the Wendy's where there's just like a like. How are the drone like? Are the drones like uh, just like yeah, sitting outside and then waiting? And then does somebody bring out the bag to the drone, or does the so drone scary. like? Yeah, the drone has to has to uh, like a dog door for drones, maybe like up <laughs> high. That's just like bzz, 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 what you have to remember bzz, is that an in that and, is, and out, yeah, exit four, and entry, yeah. four uncovered blenders, just like autonomously wandering around, whirling whirling always whirling you think they could get twirling. by with only four i feel like this is probably going to be like eight, you know to lift a baconator you'll have to bring in two <laughs> is it a double <laughs> like, baconator or is it a quadruple dude? Is it dave's double <laughs> and they'll have to sling it between them and, and then like, you know which up. drone to shoot out of the sky based on how many propellers it has because that's how many burger patties it's going to have on yeah. it but if they could get the Wendy's drone to actually like, and this is a little high concept, but if the propellers, like it was like Wendy's head and the propellers were the pigtails, like spinning around, like that would be like also be great cool, advertising Wendy. for yeah. Wendy's. That would be great. Think about it. Uh, but those original drones that will be powerful enough to lift a Baconator, mm -hmm. those are going to be scary, terrifying, very mm. noisy drones. What could go wrong, Danny? <laughs> I love drones. I just don't want hundreds of them flying around, dropping mm. off Baconators. Yeah. Okay, you Sorry. say this now but until you're hungry for a Baconator. When I get it dropped down my roof chute to my trough, I'm going <laughs> to listen. Heaven. This is what I want it to do. What's the I surge want... pricing on that? Oh, oh so like, high. Like uh, C-3PO with a propeller on his head, and he's holding it, and then he like feeds it to you, too. Oh. So, like... That would be so obnoxious. Oh, you have he your own robot at your house, Tyson. They would yeah. have to deliver the droid to you. Okay. It, the, and the, I don't think the Amazon can, uh, robot can do that. It's basically a screen with wheels on it. Mm -hmm. You're going to need something with hands. Yeah, you'll get something with hands. 
or Boston uh, di- di- Boston Robotics, Boston Dynamic Dog. The just dog. Fucking yeah. dog, <laughs> donkey kicking that burger down your throat. <laughs> uh, that actually is a better delivery vehicle, in my mind, than the drone. It's galloping. With- so this dog is galloping. <laughs> it yes. throws the burger, chops. The wrapper comes off, flips around, donkey kicks the thing straight down straight your, your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or goal it. I think you, you better hope it it, the dog doesn't run off with your baconator. Look, okay, guys, perfect Dogs combination love baconators. Dogs of all love technology. Baconators. Uh-huh. We have Musk building all those tunnels. Those tunnels yeah. are for delivery dogs. So Boston <laughs> Dynamic Dogs are using all of the tunnels to deliver their, well, according to wait, Tyson, wait, wait, donkey wait. To make this, <laughs> To make this horrifying, the Boston Dynamics dogs can run on the ceilings on the walls they can run they can <laughs> yeah. swarm, swarm like ants dude. well like they have spiders sp- yeah yeah they have spider mode yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is a terrifying <laughs> thought all these tunnels underground filled with spider dogs donkey <laughs> kicking <laughs> hamburgers down on bullet. yeah <laughs> just like non-stop just like getting oh man and imagine if it's just like uh they're like Please stand still. And if you don't stand still and you move forward half an inch, your teeth get smashed in. <laughs> if you move back too far, the bacon inner just gets so you know, I'm not, face. I'm not for the donkey kicking of the. the I think hamburger. it has to be. I like would rather gonna, than, yeah. yeah. That's too dangerous. I don't need that. Come on, what Danny. You, Live a little. Come yeah. on. <laughs> you don't have time to eat, dude. Technology is advancing so rapidly. Yeah. You don't have time to chew. You don't have time to eat. You can't you even need... see your real hands. You've got the Vision yeah. Pro on. You as far as I know, that don- donkey yeah. kicking <laughs> to do your mouth, bro. And straight down into my stomach. Yeah. Okay. I guess if this is the future, then that's the price I have to pay to live in it. <laughs> so you have okay. like, so it donkey kicks. Listen, it donkey kicks the burger into your mouth and then it doc ock arms. The, down all the way wow. down into your stomach. Wow. Well, yeah, that's and then very, your yeah. jaw. <laughs> that's no, very you, there's no chewing because it pushes it all the way oh, down your right. esophagus in your before you even have that's only if you order the hamburger snake style. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could just say animal style still. Animal style. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So when you hear the whirring and l- loud noises uh, this summer, y- there may be like a, a Wendy's drone operation open near you, or it may be uh, the cicada apocalypse this summer when two different cicada broods are double going brood. to be <laughs> the double brood X mm-hmm. is happening. And there was a nightmarish story that uh, came out this week about what is to come. And uh, this story says cicadas could pee on you this spring with strongest urine jet stream. <laughs> Any word about luck? Is it a good luck thing? <laughs> no, I think uh, if cicadas, uh, uh, if they're urinating on you, I don't, do not know if that's lucky or un- unlucky. Are but you their property then? Like, are you their property? Is, yeah. yeah. Apparently, are they targeting us? I don't know. Cicadas apparently have a very mammal like uh, high pressure urine stream. I've that never may heard be, that. Me I've, either. I've seen cicadas many times. I've never seen one. According the to the horse. New York Times, this article notes that scientists recently revealed the insects hold the record for strongest urine jet stream of any animal studied close to their size close to they their can size shoot their urine about three meters uh hey, what? 10 feet no a way they no drink way. 300 times their weight in plant sap but what <laughs> is it enough to even feel though plant or is it microscopic sap. i don't think it's microscopic like if there is it just like you're standing there and it's just like golden showers and you're like ah i can't see turn <laughs> off the fire hose where's the fire hose and you're just like oh it's a cicada what dude like mm-hmm. how thick is this and okay how do i don't do mind, a, I don't mind a little plant sap them that doesn't sound as bad yeah, yeah. okay well plant sap, plant sap uh, piss yeah are you interested to see a a, a video yes. demonstration oh okay. yeah yes, I am. all right yes. this is from georgia tech college of engineering okay a video called the unique urination of cicadas what a great study love it okay 
And so here they are. Uh, yeah. that it was typically, a drop. No, that was uh, that's okay. But the noisy cicada is different. That they were showing you what how a normal uh, insect urinates. This okay. is the noisy cicada. Look at all okay. This Look at all the prep They work. have large Whoa. streams of urine. Okay. <laughs> Georgia Tech researchers, they are bragging. They are the first to study it. Thank yeah. goodness. That was they disturbing. Eat the, they eat the sap and then they shoot the urine. Xylem sap. Uh, xylem is the layer underneath the bark. Yes. Dude, look at it. Look at what yeah. the. You might it, be wondering this summer did somebody just uh, spray me with a water gun? Yeah, that's no. what it looks like. That's a healthy stream. That's a young cicada. Wait, he's about to give that one a little <laughs> is, bit of a... Is, is somebody's uh, frosty leaking from a drone above me? No. Okay, is, we just hit upon another reason not to fly delivery drones. Could you imagine flying delivery drones through a double brood? <laughs> I mean, it would yeah. just be chopping up <laughs> cicadas. Why does my <laughs> double baconator taste like tree sap? This is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> why is my dave's double soaked yeah, yeah why is this wet that is always the question that you ask yourself when something's gone wrong why is this wet yeah and it sounds like in the double brood you'll be asking that question a lot and the answer you don't want to know yeah why are my pants wet mm -hmm. <laughs> what's going on yeah why is what my is... burger wet <laughs> why am i sweating on my face right now <laughs> just the the brood got me Double Dude, brood. I, yeah, I am not for cicada pee. By the way, people who couldn't see that video, I can testify that it was a disturbing amount. <laughs> it was like of a urine, probably like a tiny squirt gun squid. Yes, yeah. yes, that's perfect. Like those little uh, squirt guns you get as a prize. Yeah, the little it's pistol like one ones that yes. like squirts one time. Yeah, yeah, pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Rachel seemed very excited. She knows that I am Father Nature. She sent yeah. me this an article on this about the, think, the the brood or about the urination about the brood. And I yeah. was like, the brood's probably whatever. It's going to be loud and it's going to be annoying. I don't and think you have to worry about it, frankly, gonna, where you are in Arizona. I don't think so either. But you, yeah. my friend, are no, be I'm drenched in, in piss. I'm in uh, deep piss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't open your mouth. Yeah, you if I'm you don't if you don't feel comfortable talking on the podcast I'll, during the double brood, just give us a sign. I'll be leaving the house in a scuba suit. Yeah. Or at least a mask, I guess. Mhm. Mm mm. Yeah. Rob, why, why are you wearing a wetsuit? Like, well, <laughs> double brood. It's wet out there. It's wet yeah. out there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh something that maybe could be even scarier than mm. the uh, double brood X is a new uh, disorder, a condition, a rare condition rare, reported rare. about in the uh, uh, New York Post here. That's called Demon Face Syndrome, a rare condition that oh, makes shit. everybody look girls satanic. <laughs> um, by rare, if I remember the article correctly, I think only have 75 known cases. In only the US. 75 known cases, yes. If, if of I can demon remember. face can syndrome. Can we see a demon face? No, so okay, so that Tyson, you do not get a demon face. You think everybody else has a demon oh, face. Oh, yeah. So we no. cannot show that's you just a, that's a byproduct of playing Survivor once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> like you walk around and everyone's out to get you. Yeah. So, so okay. Basically, the closest I can give you is a representation. This is like almost yeah. like when somebody gets mugged and they're like, Can you tell us what the person looked like? So, this they they enlisted a sketch artist to show, okay, the on the left is what the, a normal face would look like. Mm -hmm. And then on the right is what the uh, the, the sufferer's depiction of uh, having demon yeah, face syndrome would I, be. I, Listen, I'm not going to say like that's not a real thing, but Until if you have everyone it. has a demon face, then mm. aren't those just now faces? If you've mm. seen them like that your entire life, that's just a regular face, not a yeah, demon a face. Point. Wonder if he sees himself as a demon. Also, that's a scary name for a 
demon Thing face syndrome. Here's another. This demon is a side face. profile of what it looks like when you have demon face syndrome. Uh, I wasn't expecting the pointy ears. <laughs> yeah, why yeah. are the pointy ears there? Is this just like in your mind's eye, you've created a demon out of certain humans? Because mm -hmm. literally, if everybody looks like that, then that should just a face yeah does well, everybody yeah. that has it uh look at see the demons the same way because i thought that's extra creepy yeah or if that's the case too that's like maybe it's a weird eye like an eye thing like yeah. a cornea stretched out misshaping eye. or something but mm -hmm. i need more information on this for me to fully believe that these 75 people are all experiencing the same thing in the should same create way. A, create it in VR, like so you can go into the metaverse yeah. and see well, everyone as the demon face. Well, could you could they fix it with the Apple Vision, where if you have demon face syndrome, could you wear the Vision Pro and then see everybody back to normal? I it feel just like yeah, just like a use. misshapen lens on a on glasses would do the trick, or a mm. funny mirror or something. Does it just affect their face? Can it also give you like demon dong or like the, you know? I like don't know. What? It doesn't Fingers, say about other <laughs> demon like butt. What? demon you butt. heard you heard mm -hmm. i'm just wondering if it only affects like barbed? It, it, is that i mean it's the demon face syndrome mm -hmm. yeah so it only affects the face which seems kind of strange that seems like it's not a muscle or an eye thing mm. yeah it's something or beyond that a, yeah or a thing the thing is if the, you had a kid with demon face syndrome and you were talking about leprechauns these things kind of look like leprechauns oh interesting trap might actually work Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah um because they're the whole world is filled with them of course then your parents are leprechauns according to the demon face so yeah do you think that it's insensitive to the people with this condition to call it demon face syndrome yeah so few let them <laughs> vote on a good name plus they have to explain it to people i see demons that's not a good opener for describing your you know the thing you have i mm -hmm. see demons yeah. okay <laughs> i'm gonna go somewhere else <laughs> I don't want to be in a room with someone who sees demons. Do you see one now? Yes. Where? You. Right in front of me, right? Wouldn't yeah. that be terrifying? Mm -hmm. uh. I still think like I need more information. If everyone's looking like a demon, then they have no like there's no ground like what like level one, like, oh, comparison. Everyone's demon face. So if everyone's demon face, everyone's just regular face because they've experienced their entire lives with people having stretched out weird looking faces when it's just their eyes and or their mind or whatever it is. But if Not they have eyes. if they have a reference where maybe they didn't used to see in demon face and now they do, that's horrifying. Like they took that's acid. The real, that's a real and issue. After their trip, it was all demon faces <laughs> here on I out. I could see that. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't come back. Yeah. Hmm. All right. We've talked about a restaurant that was going to charge a, like a surcharge at brunch, I believe, uh, mm -hmm. if you had uh, poorly behaved children. Uh, this is a different restaurant owner who's going about it the other way, maybe from a more positive perspective. Um, a restaurateur uh, posted on Reddit that his restaurant had a well-behaved kids discount and then posted a screenshot from a receipt where we don't know off of uh, how big of a bill mm. this discount was applied, but a well-behaved discount uh, resulted in a the removal of six dollars and seventy two uh, cents off the bill. Lame. The discount, <laughs> as usual, is just a surcharge that's been removed, right? It's just like yeah. we were going to charge you six extra dollars, but now, but now we have not six dollars. Come on, give me a break. That yeah. wouldn't even cover the sprite. I had to give my kid to make him quiet. <laughs> Or the yeah, <laughs> or the uh, data the, that it costs yeah. for them to watch a movie in HD on an iPod. Mm -hmm. iPad. Listen, I it's too subjective. Like, yeah. what is a good kid? Who is a good kid? How is a good kid? Why is a good kid? All of those questions come into play, and for each person observing the kid, that is something different. And so, I think that you can't get away with this. Like, I think extra cleaning you shouldn't yeah. get a discount but like if like the kid like makes extra mess you could charge yes charge five dollars to be like extra messy cleanup like and that's not even for a kid it's like for adults for whoever like you spill a drink 
and you rip up the straw wrapper and throw it on the ground and you leave most of your sauce on the tabletop, that's five extra dollars. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think it opens the door for a lot of tough conversations when you get the bill and you look at it and you see no well-behaved discount. And, Is and, my kid and, not and, a good I, enough kid? I, I'm sorry, I, I noticed I did not get the well-behaved kid discount. And then the I don't even have has, kids. I don't even have kids and I didn't pass. <laughs> yeah. But it, I think it's going to be tough when the manager's like, well, I mean, he wasn't that good. They were little yeah. shits. You're opening yeah. the door with something like this to just arguments, possible mm -hmm. litigation. If the hint of lime gets in on this, you're done financially. <laughs> I shutter those I'm doors. Ruined. <laughs> you're <I'm> ruined. ruined. <laughs> That's why everybody should have umbrella insurance. Oh, <laughs> that's good. But uh, I, I don't I like an umbrella this, for the cicada brood. Correct. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's the umbrella insurance you need this summer. Mm -hmm. That's the umbrella we need to I'm make. Arizona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you never need an umbrella. Dude, what if the brood and the solar eclipse were ha happening at the same time? <laughs> I think we looked this up on one of the podcasts. Yes. I think this was something we discussed. It would be if, end of times level yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think this summer, I think there might actually be a uh, brood eclipse where it'll be just like a normal sunny day and then all of the locusts <laughs> will block out the sun yeah. at one point. That As would the... be more terrifying <laughs> than solar bodies moving in front of each other. That'll just prep us for when <laughs> the drone cloud is constant. Mm -hmm. it's just like... Blocking out the sun. <laughs> From yeah. 1145 to 1 p.m. Boy, I remember... the block out lunch hour. I remember reading mm. about Lewis and Clark when they were crossing the America, they saw this like multiple days of the sun blocked out from migrating birds and people in the future, as Tyson has pointed out, will be talking about the, the era when the sun would be blocked out for days from Baconators being brought to yeah. people. Well, Danny, <laughs> is it possible that, you know, with the like nanotechnology that we have, would it be possible to, if we could like get some microchips into these uh, locust broods this summer to get them moving some of these Baconators oh, around. Good idea, Ant-Man style technology, <laughs> but Smart. with a, a legitimate insect. Just uh, I like that. Fishing wire. <laughs> yeah, put them to work. <laughs> <laughs> How many locusts would it take to move a Happy Meal? That would be so, so disturbing many. if so a double many. brood brought you your Happy Meal. A soaking wet box of Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> no. You would have it the tree sap proof <laughs> bag, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tamper, whatever, no tamper bag. Uh, so, but still, I wouldn't accept it from a brood. A double brood. <laughs> Do you really? have to take the brood? Would you rather no take it? Who would you take that delivery from, Danny? Oh, any would robot. I would. What about DoorDash? Would you take no. it from another yeah. human? Uh, I tried. Uh, no, I've already told you I don't order DoorDash. Liz yeah. does yeah. on occasion, but I don't. And famously, Danny will not eat anything prepared by another human being that's outside of his immediate family right unless it's at a gross restaurant yeah it, well at least they have some kind of like there's health codes and food permits that are there or is permit. that are there or is that just that's the illusion. illusion that props up at least allows me to eat there the yeah. idea that those things exist i'm not saying they're adhered to but they exist Listen, what I keep thinking about as we're thinking about, uh, like I keep going back to the Baconator flying through the sky with the drone, you love aliens that. snagging one, mm -hmm. testing the DNA of the burger and being like, cows can fly? These <laughs> animals, what is happening on, a, uh, on planet Earth? They think that the Baconator is the... In intelligent life that is the traveling yeah, life. <laughs> by drone <laughs> around the society. You would think that the drones were in charge. They seem to be the most active thing on the surface of the planet. They, zipping around. they seem to be feeding these organic creatures that are just mm -hmm. plump and like rolling around with mm -hmm. things on their heads. Just getting fattened up. Yeah. For the okay. aliens. For the slaughter. Now, all of our lives, um, we've been told about how, you know, the bullies are bad. Okay, well, everybody's very yeah. down on the bullies. Yes, but some new research has shown that the bullies are good. Well, not necessarily that the bullies are good, They're but great. the bullies have prospered quite a bit, Makes according sense. to this a five decade study in the UK. 
they found out that the bullies actually are doing better in life and earning more money into their middle ages than those who were bullied. Hmm. Yeah, you can go far without any moral compass or ethics. Mm -hmm. Well, it honestly does make sense. Like they know what they want and they're willing to destroy whoever gets in their way. Whoever. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that? Yeah. Whoever you Tyson, you get in their way. They'll, yeah. they'll break you down. I'm just trying to think I, of the bullies I think this, in my life. I think this totally makes are. sense. Yeah. Were they have the bullies that you knew as a child, Tyson, did they go on to be successful? I can't imagine. <laughs> Like, uh, I can don't you, know any of them in adulthood. Yeah. And, I was going to say, can you picture one and like, you know, their life story? I don't know any of their life story because I failed to stay in touch with anybody who bullied me growing <laughs> up. Hmm. And uh, my entire life, I've just set out to make them regret bullying old Tyson Apostle. I'm here. curious about the uh, data they used for this study. I want to open it, but it's from the Guardian and I just know it's going to ask me to do a bunch of stuff and agree <laughs> to a bunch of things. Do you think that the bullies are watching me that bullied me yeah. and are like, God damn it, he won a million dollars on TV. Well, did you bully anybody? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Mm -hmm. I was like on the show you did, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a strong Danny, word. come on. Come on. It's a strong term. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I was watch it, Danny. I was probably middle tier or lower middle tier in mm -hmm. school, pretty much all growing up as far as the social dynamic. I was never like in the peak, like King uh, Big Johnson uh, Club or whatever it is. <laughs> is that what they called it? King Dong. Uh, yeah, I was never in that. I was always like, and I don't even think I was in like the upper 50% of like the King Dong club. Uh, so there were yeah. people below me on the hierarchy that, uh, you know, probably I was unfair and unjust towards, but I definitely also felt that from others. So I feel like there's more to this study than what we're just saying. I'm trying to skip. Yeah. So, through okay. It. So, um, I have some more, uh, data here. So, this was from the University of Essex. Uh, they studied 7,000 people born in 1970. They followed them uh, their whole lives. Uh, wow. They said that aggressive behaviors were linked to a nearly 4% increase in earnings in 2016 for the men and the women uh, compared to a 6% rise for higher cognition skills. So is that... Um, that's just uh, the, way that, the way they worded that uh, just makes it seem like they're not doing better. Yeah. Also, if you're only 4% better, I, I mean, that's within the margin of error, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And they also talk about aggressive behavior such as bullying or temper output, uh, uh, outbursts. So it sounds like they're lumping a bunch of people together as yeah. bullies. So mm. I, Anything, I don't know. Anybody. This is rubbish. Yeah, anybody <laughs> can qualify as a bully for any right? certain thing point. at any given time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At some point during your childhood, you were probably aggressive at school. Okay. Uh, yeah. And they're saying like, well, the meek ones, those people who were timid, they didn't yeah. get as far. Okay. So I guess what they're saying is that uh, conduct problems were associated with increased earnings in later life, challenging the notion that aggressive behavior is purely negative. If they were showing like if there was a direct correlation to the number of covered wagons you gave an individual in grade school to your success later in adult life, that to me would be, I could look at that and say, okay, that makes sense. But this is, this is too vague. There's mm -hmm. not enough information here. I'm not, I'm not convinced. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Science. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And then uh, a little bit of a sad story I have here uh, right. today. Um, a uh -huh. uh, new study reveals only 21% of Americans, according to this poll of 2,000 Americans, reveal that only 21% feel true comfort each day. That's pretty good. 21%. Uh, and how come? What is that emotional comfort or is that physical comfort? I think it's uh, physical. Completely relaxed or at ease. <laughs> That's how it's phrased. Only twenty one percent of people are having true comfort, Tyson. That's a, that's that's at least fifty percent emotional. Like if you're having true comfort, relaxed, at ease, 
that is emotional and mental comfort as well. Like mm -hmm. for example, I bought a new house and yeah. we're about to move. We're moving stuff a little bit. And last night I woke up in the middle of the night and just sat there and thought about what a pain in the ass it is to move houses. No, and it's I the worst. About oh, yeah. that for like three hours, stressed out that we weren't going to be able to do it and that everything was going to come crashing down and that my life was the worst in the moment because of all the moving and this house we're putting up for rent and it's a whole thing. And are we going to even be able to find people to rent this place? And now I've got to, I'm paying for two houses and I'm just going to, everything's mm -hmm. crumbling. And I've in my mind envisioned the entire uh, deterioration of the uh, kingdom uh, that I have built. <laughs> yes. By the way, they're referring to just a moment of true comfort. <laughs> Yeah, because at first I thought this is insane. Twenty one percent of the people feel comfort each day, meaning like they're comfortable yeah. all day long. Uh, no, no, they're talking about Some. just a one moment during the day of true yeah. comfort. Yeah, yeah, I had that. I sat down, ate popcorn, and watched Deal or No Deal Island last. Night. <laughs> oh, yes, nice way to find comfort. Thank you. They say yeah. napping is one of the top ways to find true Ooh, comfort. I love a good nap. Mm -hmm. spa, spa day, also hot I bath. I haven't done a spa day in a very long time. Well, okay. maybe it's time, especially with this house move. Yeah. Going through. I, I should spend more money. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every Dan single penny I spend anywhere is a new stress to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know Danny. you're going to say, Rob. Yes, I'm yes. ready. You're ready for the bolt yes. hole? Okay. Let's, let's check in with Danny's bolt hole. Let's see what it's all about. Always a moment of true comfort. Mm. This is our true comfort for the day. It really is. Like I think you're gonna feel you belong. Okay. Imagine you're sitting at home, mm -hmm. comfortable. You've just woken from a nap. The drone is at the door. It's got a delicious meal for you. Are you yes. ready, Tyson, to open yes. up and see what it is? Yeah. Is it snake? No. Nope. You've Crickets. splurged. You've really spent money. You've gone above the uh, cricket pricing. Mm -hmm. No double brewed burger for you. Uh, outside, being held by the hovering drone, is Martha Stewart's Chobster. Did you guys see the Chobster? Chobster. It's is it a part lobster? Okay. You've got half of the uh, Franken dish. Chili? Just the other half. No, nope. it is it is lobster. a lobster, a lobster stuck inside uh -huh. a chicken, a roasted chicken. Okay. So it's almost as if the lobster is wearing a chicken vest, hmm. if you can imagine it. His arms are sticking out the side, his head coming chopster. out. Chopster, the, the chopster. Look it up. And is this good hmm. for us? So when I saw this, I thought this is a lie. No such dish exists. Um, it was all over. I had to look up on Slate, I believe, had more of a backstory on the Chopster. Okay. Because it looks like something someone would make in order to get clicks. It looks total clickbait dish. And it still could be. And it may have worked. But there is a restaurant mm. that is going back in time and remaking dishes from the past. And supposedly, supposedly, this is a, a version of something people used to eat. Stop it. They, nobody ever did before. That this is something that people do now when they're bored. That yeah. when when <laughs> there was food scarcity, people Rob. took a lobster and shoved it in a chicken. Come I don't on. even know how you fit the lobster in the Lobstrosity chicken. Lobstrosity okay. is what it's sense. called here. Okay, you guys have seen that's how I reacted. This is impossible. Uh, a lot of the times it was a part, it was a dish with crawfish. And this right? is on Yahoo. How are they still <laughs> in business? Tyson, not just yeah, Yahoo. That's the real story here, is that they're still somehow yeah. that is like. That is being funded by somebody, some dubious individual. But the chopster is a dish mm -hmm. that did exist in some form uh, in the past. It's French. So okay. I don't know. This is like a, a ship in a bottle, Tyson. How do they even <laughs> fit the lobster in the chicken? You have Unless to... they just like like a Mr. Potato Head. Mm -hmm. No, you grow the lobster <laughs> inside the chicken, naturally, both living. Until so the it day lives in them. the chicken carcass like a cave? Mm -hmm. <laughs> until it grows and fits into there and then you have both of them so it has a french name that i can't 
pronounce. Do you need Poliard me to? homardine, I think, and uh, is what the dish is called. And like Poliard. I said, it could just it yeah. could be an extreme take on an older dish, but they're claiming that there this has some connection to a dish in the past. It looks it looks otherworldly. I mean, like if genetic yeah. scientists had gone absolutely mad and in his laboratory <laughs> created this thing, right? And it I don't know if it would live on land yeah. or in the sea. Probably would have to live on land, the chop so, syrup. This was an actual Yeah, this here, is but. from Martha Stewart's Instagram. Uh mm -hmm. that she uh posts a picture of it. Um I love that the uh the number one comment here is from uh this commenter who wrote, girl, respectively. WTF uh, that has 3,006 <laughs> likes. <laughs> oh, the method gives the poultry a sweet infusion of lobster flavor. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. Accentuated even further when the head's juices are squeezed into a sauce made from a base of lobster bisque. So, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, mm -hmm. It seems strange to us. That's chocolate cake. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe yeah. to an old... You know, an older generation, this would have been a celebratory dish for a big yeah. day. Would you try it? Would you try it, Danny? Yeah, I think so. Everything looks well cooked. It, I yeah. take it from the drone. They're like, yeah. hey, Rob sent this to you. I'd be like, thank you, Rob. And then prepared, I'd open it up. Prepared by Rob. Mm -mm. Yeah. This I is might. the kind of stuff uh, that they post when they want to like really start passing more taxes on billionaires to get people <laughs> really uh, upset with people that have too much money. They, they go look at this stuff, but look only half the of rich this. Are eating. <laughs> if it were like inside a whole side of beef or something, that's when you're like, dang, or like a fillet, but like a chicken, it's like fine, yeah. But there needs to be another element to it there, like. Uh, I don't know. Here's uh, the thing. When you look at all the pictures on this post, every yeah. picture is classy AF. And then it looks like she took the picture of the chopster at a completely <laughs> different location. You're like, yeah. Ooh, look at this fine dining. And then you're like, what is this monstrosity on this plate? Yeah. The I tell my wife, I, I, I'm thinking of making a chopster. <laughs> She'd be stoked. It'll be dude. a hit. She'd be so mad. You, she would. She'd be furious. Really? If you made dinner, Dude, that, that if looked, I made a chopster, yeah, does it matter what it is? Like, is it, so you think my wife likes new things that that are my this, ideas? This isn't new though. This is old. You'd be saying that, old that she's never heard that she's From never heard of. Country. Do you think that, that that that's something that she would might be interested in? That she would have a positive like, oh, okay, I've never heard of it, but like if you say it's good, I'll try it. It's lobster. Lobster's mm. fancy. Mm hmm. Does she like lobster? She likes it. She honestly, she's more down on chicken than lobster. Two hundred fifty dollars, by the way. You want to yeah. try this at the restaurant? Stupid. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. That yeah. part's stupid. Then why don't you just be like, well, just give me a twenty dollar chicken and a fifty dollar lobster, mm -hmm. and it's only chicken $70. doesn't even cost twenty dollars. Yeah, it's not infused with lobster mm -hmm. juice, Tyson. Yeah, you okay. Can jizz your own lobster juice from the <laughs> lobster that you buy for fifty. Break bucks it open. On. Yeah, mm -hmm. all over the chicken. Yeah. Yep. So okay. anyway, that's what the rich are doing, I guess. <sighs> All right. Good to know. Well, I'll jot it down for tomorrow. We got to come up with uh, the brand new artwork for this episode <laughs> of the podcast. I feel like that we were really on to something with the cicadas delivering uh, the fast food delivery. Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay, do yeah. it. Um, so what what do we want to see? A, a, a swarm of cicadas. A, a swarm of cicadas. Diver, delivering carrying carrying a baconator carrying just, just bacon a baconator or a bag of fast food carrying a bag of fast food yes uh really we can't we can't be too like i, I don't I know feel like too Tyson, too if they're carrying a, a hamburger i feel like that they're underneath it like that's fine like that's is... hilarious <laughs> mm. <laughs> you want to see that you want to see them carrying a, a swarm uh, of cicadas yeah carrying a hamburger through the sky Filled with drones to a to a man with his mouth open <laughs> and Apple Google glasses on. <laughs> Too much, yeah. Through the sky, um, yeah. I think let's we're see. gonna hit a yeah. your first go. All right, let's see. Let's see what this looks like, and then we could like change if we want cinematic or like cinematic is like going to be more realistic. Uh, yeah, then there's other options. Okay. Creative. I feel like yeah. we should give it a little bit more license. 
Yeah, okay. let's see where it goes. Okay, because I think it's going to try to like keep it like super realistic if we uh, do uh, no, cinematic. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Danny, what else is coming up for you? Oh, um, well, I'm going to go just right after this to go work on a wedding video. Oh, niece. So, Ooh. Wow. I normally don't do wedding videos because I'm not a fan of wedding <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I'll sure. do it for nieces and nephews if they ask. Wow. So, but best uncle ever. Well, yeah, let's like wait and see the video family. first. Yeah, that's true. That's what I always say when people are like, thank you so much for doing this. I'm like, you haven't seen the finished product. Yeah, you might want no, to you're off. getting it for free. I have zero <laughs> pressure. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. can't review me anywhere, but you exactly. can start commenting on one, my YouTube videos. One time, my brother-in-law asked for a video and I gave it to him two years later. And the best part was he didn't pay, so there was no pressure. Mm. So he could never be like, hey, where's that video? He still did, but it didn't in any oh. way speed up the process. Yeah, it didn't motivate you in any capacity. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh -oh, okay, what? let me show you. So, I think that. So, I think we confused it. It looks like that there are uh, random burgers. hamburgers. Yeah, cicada burgers flying throughout the sky in this yeah. one. Uh, nope. Again, this is like our, yeah, I think this is like right a there. swarm of of burgers. Um, uh, this is like cicadas made of burgers. Uh -huh. We we gave it too much latitude. And now it's like so, create go back like, one. I think if we can tweak it again, let's okay. Let's, okay. A swarm of cicadas. Yeah. Uh, Carrying up a, a fast food bag. Let's try a fast yeah. food bag. Uh, yeah. A, a swarm of I, uh, cicadas. Uh, dragging, working, dragging together. a hamburger yeah. by a string. Something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Working together, I think, uh, because we want the swarm uh, doing the work. Yeah. Working together to uh, drag a uh, giant... The yeah, giant hamburger through the sky. Okay, let's give that a shot. Okay, Tyson, what's coming up for you? Um, Moving, moving houses. Yes. Yep. Getting this thing uh, in rentable condition. And... Um, what else do I got? Pickleball, right? Pickleball. Mm -hmm. I missed pickleball. I played it this morning. It rained, and I'm still in my pickleball clothes. Uh, and then I, um, that's it. That's it. I Survivor is coming up again, and I'm excited. Yep. We've got uh, Janine on the podcast coming up on Wednesday, which is very exciting for us. Nice. And uh, that's all. That's all, I think. Mm. Yeah. How about okay. you? Oh, but, no. Uh, this reaction, not good. I know. <laughs> you could read not me so well. Yeah. All right. All right. So I think we got to try it one more time. So, yeah, I think it's really hung up on this idea of... Uh, so this is... Um, this is like... And these look like murder hornets. Honestly. I don't mind yeah, this, yeah, really. Okay. Uh, they're on the... The cicadas are on the burger here. Yeah. Um, a couple of them are, look like there's like... A couple of them, I don't, I'm not sure what they're doing. Right, yeah. Um Breathe. Then uh, this was looks like this is a burger Dude, made out of cicadas. That? That's gross. pretty gross. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's really disgusting. Although it Again, might. This is bur cicada that burger. That one's more artistic. That one looks like Martha Stewart made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that a chopster? Oh, mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> a cicadster? Okay. Cicadger. And, and, and then this uh, looks like like that looks like another Dude. burger made out of cicadas. Uh again, this maybe in Irving. you know, five years from now, that's what our barbecues will be. But mm -hmm. I think it's probably gotta be this one. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> gross. Let's do it. Dude, yeah, we're gonna get a trillion views this time only because <sighs> of that. And then uh, I'm getting ready that uh, we're we're doing our spring break this week. We're going yeah. to the Blue Ridge Mountains. Ooh, I've heard of those Ooh. in country songs. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I'll be saying after a few days, take me home, country roads. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go into the mountains. It's supposed to be very cold. Okay, let's see How what cold? happens. I don't know. I think it's going to be like in the 30s here. Uh, so. Ooh. Uh, might be colder up in the mountains. We're taking the Camping dog or cabin. -ing? We're no, or we're, we're gonna stay in like a like a uh, a house, like a okay. cabin type house. So a cabin house. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Just a couple days, me and the family in the mountains. Mm -hmm. I love it. Taking a couple days away, and then uh, come back, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Fantastic! Right. I'm excited yeah. for you. Yeah, excited just to drive though. Okay, just a couple hours away. Yeah, yeah. good. 
Okay. Good. All right. All right. Danny, I'll scope out some mediocre amateur yeah, let uh, me know. spots uh, if there's any place up there. Okay. All right. Yeah. And in the meantime, we'll be back next time. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.